It's a frosty morning here. Even though these grasses are covered in frost, they'll still survive. They're adapted to the cold weather. Today we are going to be looking at three different plants and how they are adapted to survive frost. This is frost on some red mustard. Can you see the frost crystals? Pretty beautiful. Here's some red mustard again, and this is the start of frost damage. So how does frost damage happen? We have a Tupperware full of water. We're gonna put it in the freezer and we are going to experiment and see if it is going to expand and get bigger or if it's going to contract and get smaller. So this is how we'll see what happens when water freezes inside plants. Let's watch and find out. So what do you notice happened to our water? Did it expand and get bigger or did it contract and get smaller? This is the same thing that happens in the water that is inside of plants. Plants are made up of a whole lot of water and when water freezes it gets bigger and it pushes outwards. And that enlargement can sometimes cause cells, the plant cells in certain plants to kind of explode and rupture from the force of that freezing water and it can cause you know that cell damage and since plants are made up of cells then they get damaged too so if you look kind of over see how this one looks kind of brown and back here too see how it's kind of it really like split you can see how it's split open and that's from that kind of the freezing and the cells all kind of pushing outwards so some plants are more resistant than others to frost. Red mustard really likes hot weather for the most part. It does okay in the winter, but not great. So let's check another plant that I think has a little more resistance to frost and we'll see it if, if it has the same signs of frost damage. So here we are looking at a kale plant. You can see the frost, the crystals on there and so we're checking for damage. I see a little damage but not as much as on the red mustard. If you really look in there you can see how the stems are not split open. They have a little bit of a little bit of spotting on them but it's not bad. So kale and broccoli uh, kind of the more cruciferous plants are often more adapted to protecting themselves from the cold. So they don't get as damaged from cold weather. Some plants die when it frosts. It's just too cold for them to survive and they don't have the adaptation to help protect them.